<laughs> There's our signal. Welcome <laughs> to another episode of We Review A Quiet Place. No, I'm kidding. Uh, we were just talking about it. Go check out A Quiet Place 2 in theaters now. I was hoping you were going to tell you tell them what we were referencing. They knew. And they just yell. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, we're not talking about any of those movies, though. And we're not playing a Quiet Place video game or anything like that. But we are talking about the swashbuckling adventure, the sequel to the hype. The incredible Pirates of the Caribbean. That is... As much as you might think it's Pirates of the Caribbean 2, it's just it's actually not that. It's... Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Man's Chest. Which is hella which, tough to find. Yeah, I, I will admit, say, which if, means if you Disney have Plus to didn't have it in double order... Double check yourself yeah. that you're picking the right one. Did you watch our movie? No. Oh, oh dang it. <laughs> I, I actually finished watching this film... Maybe ten minutes before these two showed up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nathan. To be fair, you right. you played magic before. It's not like our sets are op- like our sets like Opus Seventeen or anything like that. It's just magic, whatever the set's name is. So yeah, if you can do that, you can catch the second movie in the Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah, but series. you also have to be familiar with the lore. Like, listen, the you only know the twenty 20- that was saving me was like it actually had the year next to it, so it had a two thousand three, a two thousand six, well, a yeah. seven, and if you watch and, like, it on Disney 10. Plus, to their credit, they have it listed in order. Yeah. So which well, for me, I was like, sure, hope this is the right one. I'm pretty sure it is. Like even for you, I had to second guess it, and I was like, I'm pretty sure it said Man's Chest. Yeah, it said Man's Chest. All right, because <laughs> I just remember there's At World's <laughs> End, Curse of the Black Pearl, and then other pirates movies but Curse of the Black Pearls first yes so anyway without discussing all of that stuff before we get into the movie discussions we've got a video game Nathan yeah what video uh, game are we today playing? we are going to be playing golf with your friends yeah. or golf with friends I forget exactly with your what friends. it is with it's with you. in any case there's a new little mini golf course on it that is the deep um, with lots of tentacles and sunken pirate Ooh. ships and treasure chests, so tentacles. pretty yeah. appropriate, I would say. Thanks, Japan. We just we did a practice round a second ago, and Mason got a hole in one, but Nathan got uh, a bo- oh. a bogey, so oh. so we had to redo it. Yeah. <laughs> and now he gets a hole in one. Now so that that's a got his hole. Well, it's that a warm up round. You gotta learn how things are. I'll get a triple bogey on this one. It's <laughs> too much. Too much pepper. All right. So who wants to do the uh, the summary for this one? Not it. Mason, you go. Nose goes. Nose goes. Ah. Damn it. Ah. All, right. All right, I got it. That was a trick. I wanted to do the summary of this one. I'm not taking my turn right now anyway. So, uh, summary of Pirates of the Caribbean. So, we're hot off of the story of the Black Pearl. You don't even really need to know. They do, they do a great job of just sitting here and leaping into this movie without spending too much time focusing on the first one. Yeah. But the point of this sequel is you start out and you have um, fucking Kira Knightley and uh, Orlando oh, Bloom. Man. Mm-hmm. Their characters are getting married after the romance, which you presume happened in the first movie. Good for Black Pearl. That both... was the only time where I was like, huh, I don't, I guess. Oh, yeah, they were going really to need the first right. movie. They're both the prettiest people in the movie. Yeah, of right. course they're going to be together. <laughs> well, have you seen Davy Jones, first of all? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not Kate Jones. <Chandler. laughs> yeah. So, uh, they're obviously getting together. They're about to have a lovely wedding. Until. <laughs> disaster blooms. And, yeah. Until uh, the East I knew oh, you were going to Oh, boy. <laughs> Until the, the East, East India Company shows up and is the most villainous thing of all time, apparently. Low key though, East India Trading Company is is a great villain. Well, Beckett is a great be- like villain. Like this is one of the. So anyway, they come in. Nice. Oh, go in. Hold on. Hold on, everybody. Hold on. <laughs> he's, yeah, Remit. He's yeah. a man who does not care about the means. No. Nope. He only cares about the result. He yes. doesn't care who gets it for him, mm-hmm. how it happens, as long as he gets what he wants. I love that kind of villain, though. But we'll, we'll talk all more about Beckett mm-hmm. and all the villains in this a little bit later. Oh, so. God. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Way off. So, anyway, <laughs> Beckett comes in. They, uh, the, the two most attractive characters have helped out uh, Johnny Depp, the third or fourth most attractive character in this movie. And uh, now they're wanted criminals. So now this is his leverage to sit there and say, go get Jack's compass. I need to get the heart of Davy Jones, effectively. He doesn't tell him all that. But he that's what he wants. He wants control over the pirate reign. He wants East India to sit there and take over the whole thing. Mm-hmm. And him to get all the credit, because Beckett is Beckett. And that's where it starts off. They're on their venture chase after Jack, who is trying to avoid Davy Jones. And guess what? Time's up. Mm-hmm. Now uh, his little deal. Now, now, now dark... Dark mark the dark on the hand yeah. begins uh-huh. and getting chased. Did uh, he have that in the first movie? Does anybody know? Well, no. I thought that, that like sure. progressed a lot more. How can they let you go again? So anyway, going first like 
Permanent the point of that is is that uh, Davy Jones is the main antagonist for this whole film, and Which it is. I will say it's a bad thing because you guys get to, to Johnny Depp's I mean. dismay. Yeah. You can press Y and look around. Yeah. yeah okay. So anyway, um, yeah, Jack is running away from Davy Jones because time's up, and um, he's just trying not to get his deal collected on for being captain of the Peril for that long. Which I think is a little interesting lore, and it's just the chase after Jack. Jack has all the answers, and everybody's trying to get Davy Jones' heart by the end of it. Nice little fun adventure from there. Uh, I've never understood why Captain Jack Sparrow is like this, like almost mythical being that like everybody is like he's this holy, like just this amazing person. When he doesn't seem like he's like that great. Oh, he's incredibly selfish. He was yeah. definitely. Could he have gotten a hundred souls press ganged into if, Davies? If he had that deal ahead of time, like, oh, it would have been done in the yeah, first year. Yeah, he would have done. Yeah. It. Yeah. Like, if, if it were possible, he would have tried to do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it's not necessarily more so about his character, because obviously his character is built to be a swashbuckling rogue, and he's going to betray and be selfish and do that. It's more about his capability. Like, say what we will about Jack. Like, he may not seem like he's the like the greatest person by any means, yeah, but... Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> fuck off. Uh, he, he, he's Jack is incredibly capable underestimated of by people that definitely shouldn't. Just, right. just by his mannerisms. I mean, even Davy Jones by himself, who, like, after, like, his deal is up with Davy, he's like, ah, uh, so you're telling me that my soul is worth this much, and he just contractually gets himself into saying, I can get 100 souls and get out of this then, and Davy's yeah. like... I mean, yeah, I guess that is a loophole. Like, just seeing, you're talking well, about... Well, it's not even necessarily a loophole. It's well, just like, I'll do it. Yeah. It's like, sure. So seeing that he's capable to sit there and, and turn anything on its head in its own way, I think is kind of like Jack's biggest strength with that. So. <laughs> oh, I knew that was I knew it was too. I knew it was too. But there's also just the fact that I think, to me, the only thing that really makes Jack the exceptional person that he is mm -hmm. in world is that compass. Yeah, like, I mean, I don't know, it. I don't know why it is that he was given that compass by the voodoo lady. Right. Like, yeah. what, what it is he Some of that good her. fucking problem. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, Some of that good, good. But that, that is what catapulted him into the stardom that he oh, yeah. enjoys now. Yeah. But, I mean, to be fair, he Jack had to... He can find anything he wants. Right. That's a big deal. Jack had to have found her in the first place to even make that stuff happen. So, like, mm -hmm. this untold story of Jack Sparrow, I think, is... God, I hate this game. So, <laughs> I'm back where I started! <laughs> I'm a little better well, now. Well, watch out for that corner. Right, yeah. yeah. Spicy corners over here. So, um, other than, like, criticisms on Jack and stuff... Uh, Mason, what do you think about the movie? You've got a hole in one. You've got time to think. <laughs> yeah. Well, the movie... It was it was good. I was worried that like having only seen the first one probably maybe twice, and, and it was forever ago. Oh, oh wow! Uh, having wow. seen it that many cool. times, forever ago, I was really worried. But yeah, you guys were right. It it just kind of just blended into the second one really easily. Okay, uh, but let's and it blends into the third really easily too. Right. Because because this is to like half a movie. Yeah. But let's talk about the most important thing, which is the fact that this movie is too freaking long. So long. Oh, it's... I don't agree with that. Uh, uh, you guys are oh, of good. course you don't, Nathan. <laughs> it's like, I want a four-hour movie. I'm mostly, with, I'm mostly with Nathan on this. I think that this movie, yes, is longer than it needs to be, but not by much more than... Can I tell you guys the main it, it part? Would, I could say oh, it was I already too know long the main part if I didn't enjoy everything that was happening but i think the whole way through i'm having a good time with this movie yeah no i would say you know where my biggest hole is and mason i'm gonna steal it from you sure. but if you're if i'm right then you i'll let you take the lead okay. <laughs> it's when they get to the island to go get jack that for me is the cannibal part. yeah the cannibal island oh, yeah, yeah that's, 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 part. that's yeah. fair that's right fair that, that took is way too long and all the slapstick stuff that <laughs> happened after that that's when it felt like the, the coconut thing like stop right <laughs> The, the movie was coasting downhill in a nice, smooth 60-70, and it just oh, randomly ooh. pulled the e-brake and drifted. Like, yeah. Yikes. That was like 30 minutes yeah, it at seems least. like you can't cleanly go through that jump. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I'm not agreeing with it. I get probably where the rational thinking was with it. This is an all-age movie. This is a movie. Like, that part of the movie very specifically felt like this is for the kids oh, who beautiful. have been watching this pirate movie that's been pretty solid all together up until this point. Which, yeah. that's that's one thing like, I didn't understand about this movie, is one of the things I haven't really brought up in a while, because I don't think we've had that problem, 
in a minute is when a movie nice. understands its tone. Ooh. Oh, you almost oh, got fuck. it. You got it wrong. But this, yeah. this movie did not seem to understand what tone it was wanting to go for ever. Like, there was parts where it was, like, on Davy Jones, super dark, like, people in the walls, like, dying, getting whipped and stuff. Mm-hmm. And then another time, it's Johnny Depp catching watermelons on his thing, like, stop. And then, like, the tribal people are like, oh, well, I'm just a goofy kind of character. Movie, I was a little bit sh- At the very beginning, they showed, like, ravens and those birds, like, just tearing at Oh, people tearing apart. at the people. Right, I agree, right, which yeah. is why I, like, I didn't really like it. You! I'm all the way over. <laughs> bounced over! <laughs> <laughs> So, I just didn't like how it just it didn't seem to know what it was going for. I, I knew you were going to make that comment on that one, too. I, though, but. So, I, like, I mean, <laughs> I guess you can say that that's the case, but I I enjoy just the way it kind of rides back and forth. Right. Uh, to me, you know, it's it's not a, an ex, this is, uh, it's you. yes. It's a gimme. Somebody just kind of controlling me a little bit there. Yeah, it's fine. Um, to me, it's not an excuse, but I will say that it just feels like a pretty traditional Disney thing to where, tonally, their movies can be weird. Yeah. They, like, can... they, they can absolutely go darker than you think they should for a kid's movie mm-hmm. and then go right back into being the lighthearted See, yeah, I, I don't think that's really just because like they've done it before does I don't think means well like, yeah that that's what I'm saying like I'm not saying it's, it's an excuse necessarily I'm just saying that that's probably but it's very on that's why I don't like it right. like that's why I'm I just not a fan of that kind of tonal shit I'm I'm less bothered by it for the reason that it never the tones never felt like they mixed over the <laughs> the characters tones oh, never felt like they mixed too far heavily over each other and that's where i would look at it it's not so much that the overarching tone for me it was that if you have jack on it you're gonna have this charismatic swashbuckler ridiculous situations that like you would see on again the green inferno island and all yes. that stuff like you're gonna have that little bit of that campy nature with jack but whenever davy jones was on screen like davy oh got, by far the davy and line. beckett all got like the respect they deserved in their tones like beckett Jesus. was straight the entire time it never felt like it was trying to be campy or fun with them davy jones felt he was like a threat the entire time no, like, the way. i'm going this so tonally i, I think for me happen, it lands I'm, fine I'm, because all I'm the characters in. got what they needed out of their tone like jack needs to be this ridiculous hero that's a little over the top with a little bit of that stuff to him. I don't think it was the characters really that had the problems with the tone. I think it was the story itself. And, and like, <laughs> like the story, the story and the setting, I think, was what it didn't like. The, just counting out. your time off, too. Yeah. Yeah, it's still going. But what? anyway, he's already dead. <laughs> but anyway, the story, the story was where the tone like didn't know what it was doing. The characters, I felt like, were pretty much the same the entire time. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Which is funny whenever you're dealing with, like, the the two comic relief characters. Mm-hmm. The but, uh, one with the fake eye. Butch and Cassidy. It's like, they, the fucking thing. Oh my God, they were, like at forever. so many points, so willing to just, like, betray the groups that they were with and all mm-hmm. this stuff. But they, like, nobody ever really paid attention to that or cared. And yeah. just let them continue to be the characters that they were because that's just how they were written into the story. Right. If you want to talk about like the biggest fluff characters in this one, it's these ones, and it's just because they were continuations from the first movie. Yeah. I don't even because remember Because they were well-liked from the first right. movie. Right. And, so. yeah, so they, like, they very comically find themselves having been the bad guys in the first one, now part of the good guy crew, but still... Selfish and willing to, right. they, they To find a moral reason to do the wrong thing. Oh, hey, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I feel like for me, it just felt like they were a little too... I'm, I'm with you on that one, Press. Where they felt a little too cartoony for, like, even oh, this movie I mean, they, they, but... uh, they absolutely are. Right. At like, the same time, you, I... You I can imagine them snickering and going, <laughs> like, the entire time behind well, the scenes. Well, I, I just like, love uh, the, like, dialogues. That I did, too. I thought right. that was some of the highlights. Eyes. That was some yeah. of, like, the highlights of the movie for me was, Gosh, was them just, I'm like, having... you got denied that, too. Yeah, <laughs> they were just having those philosophical discussions. Yeah. Like, I, I enjoyed those. Now, Actually. that being said, it's funny that the eyeball guy becomes such an not necessarily important character, but he serves an important role in the third movie. Spoiler, like his eyes, one of these pirate treasures, like, yeah, that's like important um, for whatever. It's important. This. But in the scheme of things, I, I like that it just kind of comes off as like, oh. Just a goofy kind of thing. Yeah, it's like this just tropey little thing here. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> uh, He's swimming. Uh, yeah. put, put me back up. Put me back in, coach. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll come back eventually, so. Mason, what do you think about, um, I, I guess, I don't know, story and tone for you? How did that land for you? Well, the part that I was getting at earlier, 
I'll stay in. Oh, <laughs> no. The part that I was getting at earlier was that whole scene where like Jack Sparrow was caught in the wheel and all that stuff. That, yeah. that scene went on way too damn long. No, that's another Whenever they were finding it, the treasure it does, chest. It does go on a little overly long. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's one of those scenes that I Fuck. remember very clearly Stop. being like there's like even first time I was like this is yeah. this is a lot. This yeah. is too much this is a lot of this one joke. Well, right. And my whole thing is like I don't know, I always bring up like Captain America Civil War, like that's my least favorite Marvel Avenger type movie because there is no real Ooh. villain. Ooh. They're just fighting themselves. <laughs> Yeah. Whereas when they were trying to find the treasure chest, they were literally fighting themselves for like twenty minutes. It felt like. Um, God damn. <laughs> hey, I'm lined up just right now. Now yeah, you yeah. yeah. No, you got a whole. This oh, by look design. at that! The lines even lined mm. up. Per- oh, well, no! Well, stop camera. rolling! <laughs> stop rolling! <laughs> Uh, this is the wheel scene from Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah. Well, stop! But yes, this is an itself, overly long part. Right. The movie itself was way too long. I will not meet you guys in the middle. It's it was absurd. Yeah. There's a lot of indulgent nice. scenes that were not that fun to watch. And like, me and Dylan were talking about it off camera. Nathan too. Like, this movie basically having no real lore to start with was very good for it. Mm-hmm. I mean it. Mm-hmm. It did a really I mean, good job. It starts as oh, just so a, a theme ride built at Disneyland and has become a four movie <laughs> franchise that I think it's you know, five now. It's really, five. it's just going five. on six. Mm-hmm. Five or six. It's going There's on two six. that are un. I, I gotta do some catching up. <laughs> yeah. But There's yeah, so down, for it to, to start off as just this like cheesy like water ride at a mm. theme park and for them to create like a really good story out of that i think is great yeah, right. now that being said it was a pretty generic pirate ride um which they do pay some like homage to here and there mm-hmm. throughout the films what, what were the homage things because as somebody who's never know. had the ride i don't Same. know like that, well I defer to you so in i think in each of them they do have different things but the ones that stood out in this particular film mm-hmm. were the dog with the key. Yeah. Mm. So he is towards the end of the ride, and he's holding the keys <laughs> at... Yeah. <laughs> he's holding the keys yeah. just right outside of the reach of these guys that are in prison. And I don't oh, know if you all remember the scene where... Um, what's... Ooh. Ooh. Oh! oh. <laughs> Wow! Uh, I, I was just so expecting to go over that. Uh, <laughs> Me and Dylan took notes on the speed. Uh, what's what's that? Ah! Yeah, yeah, you yeah, should be. Um, what what's what's the name of the main girl? I'm, like, yeah, or Karen, Karen Knightley. 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 Yeah. Yeah. I'm Elizabeth. Not, I'm not good. Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Yeah. Elizabeth. Yeah. Anyway, Something so very So she's British. in jail, and like the three prisoners are like Harder. in the cell next to her, whistling at her and everything. Right there, a little less. Uh huh. Those three prisoners are also on the ride. Um, but they're whistling at that dog no! with the keys, yeah. which they don't really explain why that dog has the has a pair of keys in his right. mouth at any point. But it is only to be a reference to the ride. I, I like that though. If it's it's one of those things that just unspokenly just just can happen in a movie. You don't really need to explain it. And the mm-hmm. fact that it's an homage is like extra just flavor for yeah. again for the Disney folks who actually go to the parks and have a pass and go during COVID and all that stuff. So. <laughs> Um, I'll uh, get we will so, that kind of thing. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I will say, like, I just. Boom! Like, <laughs> Damn it! Oh, <laughs> send it back a couple pegs. Uh, hey, 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 bud. Hey, bud. Hang on. Triceratops. Yeah. Uh, now pay attention to what Price does. <laughs> yeah. So I will, uh, like, I started with a negative, but man, the like the production on this movie was. Yeah. Unreal. So yeah. Like, even, like, the CG, I don't want to, like, go too there, much into Davy Jones yet. But well, yeah. he looked awesome. I Even will say, was like all CG, you know, to talk too about much. CG, and yeah. specifically green screens, there's one moment that stands out as pretty bad to me. Which and one? And that's uh, whenever he's about, get, about to get eaten by the Kraken, and it's like... Oh, yeah. yeah. And it's like, that's you, an iconic you, shot, though. You, you couldn't see that as being any... Like, that's the strongest green screen I think I've seen right. in any of well, those films. Well, excluding that exception, like, everything else I was really impressed with on this movie. Oh, Davy yeah. Jones the, and all the people the, the crew set, The sick. setting was awesome. The costumes were really fun, all of them. 
The settings were really cool. Up on this thing. Uh, what Sorry, else either. was there? And I don't know. I just the production on it was insane for mm-hmm. what it had for the time. And the CG, the, the fact that Davy Jones still stands up to today is yeah. incredible. Like I wouldn't bat an eye at all if I saw Davy Jones. I was in, like, hoping a I could uh, now. catch as it came up. And Thanos. It was, like, I only know Davy Jones. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I don't. I didn't see shit on this one, so I'm just gonna put this either. right there. Send it, boy. Got to make up that mileage somehow. I'm in the corner. Ooh. Fucking great. Oh, no. I love it in the corner. <laughs> um, so I do want to talk a little bit about the villains and stuff on this one because they do shine so well in this movie. I know I've, I've talked about how good like Beckett's tone and Davy Jones' tone is with this one. <laughs> but to our earlier argument on, like again, praising the lore, this, sure, like there's like rough, loose pirate lore out there and about that mm-hmm. they can pull from, but the fact that they, like, their twist and pull on it for this story is Hello? so freaking cool. Yeah. Like, Davy Jones being this soul-passing person that, mm-hmm. and they get more into that in the third movie, but, you know, like, he sits there and he's just this legendary pirate who runs this ship who literally is, like, the holder <laughs> of the dams, and he has control over, like, Stupid. the whole sea, roughly. <laughs> I think that's just so fucking sweet. The, cra- the Kraken is executed so well in this. Like, mm-hmm. I, dude, the Kraken's fucking sweet. That was my favorite part of the movie. Was that like I was telling a second ago when uh, right before uh, when the Black Pearl and the whatever are fighting, uh-huh. uh, and then uh, he's like uh, Davy Jones is like let them go on, uh-huh. and then the other ca- the like his crewmates like why and then he like they just smile at each other. Uh-huh. And they're like oh no. And then they start doing uh-huh. that awesome like Davy Jones gives that speech mm-hmm. and he's like he says something that's punctuated by like uh, the drone going down and then it finally like releases the crack and it was. I love that part. Yeah. That was really fun. That part literally slaps. Not figuratively slaps. It literally <laughs> slaps. Um, Join me. Yeah, I mean, okay. all together, I th- and even more so to, like, you know, narratively all the way to the end, we're talking about a movie that had stakes. Like, Jack eats it at the end of this film. And I like that it sat there and it didn't let him get off the hook with it because it yeah. lets Davy Jones remain and still be a, like, true threat into the next movie. Now there's some, some subjectivity, subjectivity for how you like him in the third movie. Go watch it. Tell us what you think in the comments below. <laughs> But for executing Davy Jones from start to finish in the second movie, like, he's one who couldn't be fucked with. Like, they tried, and it's just like, no, you're gonna respect, like, the king of the ocean over here. Like, like that dice game when he was trying to oh, yeah, play I him. I want to talk about the dice game, because the dice game's fucking sweet, too. It like, is. It reminds me of the, uh, the Casino Royale. Yes, yes. Uh, it's the Yahtzee like, mixed with, like, poker. Yeah. Yeah. Right, it's like, effectively, but, like... Um, I, I just like the flavor. Ooh, of that. I, I've Ooh, played it. That. It's called Liar's Dice. Yeah, Ooh, liar's yeah. Dice. yeah. I've played nice. it before. But it's like using that for like years of servitude and things like mm-hmm. that. And just seeing Davy Jones be so smug like about the whole thing because it's just like... Think about how many games Davy Jones has to have played on this ship. Think about like how people have tried to get out of their servitude through this game and he's mm-hmm. just... This guy, like... The movie does such a good job of giving you so much behind Davy Jones' greatness without actually having to just show it all the time. Like, it shows enough of it, mm-hmm. but it's, like, him just appearing. You just know that this dude is, yeah. like, oh, this dude's got fucking swagger. Like, this guy has been at this game for a long time. Even, John, like, even uh, Jack Sparrow is not getting too many over on him, and by I the wonder, end, it just stays off. So, just out of my own curiosity, is the Flying Dutchman as a ship one that would have even made sense to be as old as it must be. That that's just like right. a side question, but that you, you talking about the years of servitude and stuff kind of brought that to my attention that a hundred years of servitude, there's that's probably the people that have already served that term. Right. There's definitely the guy that's the like that's rotted tree. into the mm-hmm. wall mm-hmm. effectively that um, you know, you would say he's probably served out at least most of it. Right. So, you know, the is the there. Flying Dutchman style of ship even something that could have made sense to be as old as it actually <laughs> shows it being? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean no, I mean, I definitely think that it's... Honestly, I think that character is so good at telling the story of even if you're... Even if you're probably done, you just become part of the ship, it feels like. like yeah, that that's kind of like the vibe that I got, <laughs> right. too, whenever it showed that guy. And I, I like that. I right, I like a, that. Your your time is, you're like, your servitude is never really up, per yeah. se. Like, you just part of the crew, part of the ship. Like, once you're there, you're just a part of it at that point. Man, I like it. so good you until this one. I like at, <laughs> the, at the end of the dice game, and uh, uh, Orlando Bloom's dad... He says something like, I have seven fives. And then, uh-huh. like, he gives it up. David Jones is like, you're a liar. You will serve your life on this ship. Yeah. 
Well, he saved him, basically. Right, I mean, he saved Jack by playing him, but... out bribed him. Orlando yeah. Bloom is such a dumbass. I... He is yeah. one, Orlando Bloom from like start almost up in up until the third movie like, is way over his head uh, he, and everything yeah. that he is a part of. Yeah, like, and he's like a servant, like <sighs> it, pledging his eternal soul to this guy, and he's right. like, oh, yeah. like that's he's not just a long like, time. Oh, what's that really? Mean? <laughs> yeah. Literal like, pirate I Satan. Don't, like he's just a like construct. I'm an atheist. I don't believe in a soul. <laughs> right. You're not taking anything from me. This is a joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so silly. Like, he's he, like. These guys doesn't know I'm gonna die at forty. Do you know what the expected yeah. lifetime of us is right now? Surprise, I'm alive right now. All right. Like, you see how handsome I am? Right. Like, I'll be fine. I'm gonna get out of this a okay. <laughs> Like, I'm the main character. Uh-huh. I do Ooh, remember it, told me so. the third movie. You learned that that is definitely not the case, but yeah, it's I'm. He's just a dumbass. Well, I mean, even him winning in the third movie is kind of losing overall. Oh, and what about the the forced romance between Jack Sparrow and Kiera Knightley? Oh, uh, come on. It's like that the whole time, isn't it? It just seemed really forced. Yeah, no, it did no. not I did not feel well, any, okay, like Well, okay, so there's that there. moment where the compass is pointing to Jack. Mm-hmm. No, there's like she's like well, kind of like looking after him a lot. Right. I mean, to be fair, Johnny Depp is probably on the ins you, and outs of could, Amber Heard at this see, time. So. <laughs> you, you could see why he could be attempting to right, her, yeah. yes, I could see why, but the, there's no chemistry and like nothing led me to believe that there was anything between them. Right, like it well, makes sense it's from the, it's the same kind of chemistry as uh, the red bearded guy from Game of Thrones. Oh, and, uh, uh, Brienne. Brienne. Yeah, and Brienne. yeah, and everybody universally she's a, hates that. She's yeah. a woman and he's here. <laughs> and I, 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 yeah, like from his perspective, I get it because it's like it's Keira Knightley. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, but from her perspective, it's not. I guess I'll just be stuck down here. Not to say that Johnny like Depp is a slouch in this one, but it's just like, well, he's symbolizing mm-hmm. like the like outside right. people. She's been like in a governess yeah, right. right house he's all the like, time. He's the bad boy to like the yeah, good Christian girl. He's the bad girl, boy, like. free spirit, that part of her definitely nice. wants right. to be. And I think it's it should be more of just addressing that it's attraction, but not necessarily wanting to be. Because obviously she loves Orlando Bloom, and yeah. like that's who she's going to end up be with. But I I do think it goes a little too heavy with it. I do think that they don't need to necessarily try to make it seem like it should be like this shipping thing. No pun intended. Um, like they're not trying to ship like both of them together, but it's more mm-hmm. so just saying... I could see it. I could see the appeal why girls would be into that. And it's like her just like... Being a flustered tsundere or whatever, just like fuck up. Like I don't like him. Like because that's what essentially it all is. But um, yeah. Overall, uh, just hit all the way to the ups and then yeah. Once you're on the sky, you just 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 eat it as hard as you can. Yeah. It's spinning. Yeah. I'm just gonna attack it from up top now. All the way, full power. Oh yeah, just just just, yeah, snipe it. Maximum (laughs) power. But anyway, um, any other random thoughts on the plot, narrative story, like, and before we get into. I guess the question. You guys think I'm fucking joking? Let's go. Yeah, do it. Hold on. No, no. balls. No balls, buddy. I don't think you got it. <laughs> I don't have anything else. Uh, I've said my main points about this movie already. What about you, Nathan? It's being the freshest off this movie. That's true. Um, Minutes before the review. Man, I... <laughs> okay, what... I like it. I, as, like, this isn't the question, because, uh-huh. you know, it's not my job to be doing that, but I, I do... Oh, is it my job? I, I do so want to ask, having that. just finished it, do you guys feel like just rolling into number three no. after no. watching number two? God no. Yes. <laughs> because I, I do. I do. I want to roll right into it. Like yeah. I believe, like I remember thinking three was very long, was this big a little too epic adventure the that they try to like wrap up and it gets a Maybe little convoluted. Get but I I I'll I'll tell you right now what what it is about this series that wins me over <laughs> is the lore. Well like I think oh. the characters are sweet, but the, I just buy the lore. I think it's a like it's a good narrative to sit there and kind of tell and say. Well, the yeah. thing is, this is like any franchise. I'm gonna compare it to Harry Potter. I'm gonna compare it to just I, about any anything of but those. Star Trek, and I'll probably be like, okay, you're well, winning it's, me it's over. Just... <laughs> oh, oh God! Oh, you walked the plank. Oh, 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 I have to start all the way back. Yeah. Uh, like, oh, like oh I, no! I, I really do understand someone's liking for something like this. It's just not my cup of tea. I'm with. I agree with Mason on that. Like it's it's just too Mason, long. Your decision? It's just too long and bloated. It's it's still a decent it's, enough movie. And it's beautiful it's just, to look at. Don't get me wrong. Oh it's yeah. Just, it it's just not. Having watched Waterworld, I appreciate movies that do like most of itself on the sea well. You know, mm-hmm. like 
which again, I'm putting Waterworld in that category. But you know, there's plenty of movies that you could just it's just boring out there if they don't do anything right. Don't you knock me? Actually, knock me down. I can't. Well, oh what? Uh, we're, we're not playing with that turned on. You can turn on where you hit each other. Oh, that'd be like, so croquet. annoying. Yeah. Um. So anyway, Price, you got a question for us? I didn't have one cooked for this. Mason, I'm trying to come up with question. one. Uh, Mason's like, I wasn't planning on doing this review. <laughs> really? I didn't know I was here for this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I I don't know. I kind of cooked one. It's not that not a great one, oh, no. but. Do you all see... I see the Pirates franchise as being very comparable to Lord of the Rings and Hobbit, actually. Uh, I was just wondering more of like a discussion. I mean, do you all agree? Because I see it as the first three are pretty well regarded. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's yeah. so made it uh, Like, the first three of both of those franchises are well regarded. Mm-hmm. Uh, Lord of the Rings more so than Pirates, obviously. Yeah. But then afterwards... Shame, but afterwards, be. you've got The Hobbit. Oh, Fuck me. Oh, you, yeah. Afterwards, you got The Hobbit and Pirates. Like, they're still making movies, whereas, like, no one really talks about them anymore. So, yeah. I was wondering if you all saw the same kind of comparison. If you don't, I think you can oh, well. see a comparison in this... Chronicles of Narnia. I mean, it, all of them have the exact same formulas as far as. Oh, that's a good shot. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's good. I mean, it's just it just depends on like what you like more. I mean, if you're looking for a fantasy trilogy, so to speak, with like a movies that just kept making it after a trilogy, <laughs> I definitely see the argument for yeah. it. Um, I mean, what? yeah, I would say yep, it's. Com- you're going the wrong way. You're going- Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I gotta believe I'm gonna do it again, too. <laughs> just believe I'm coming up just in May. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would say it's, like, somewhat comparable just because it's it's this a big franchise. That is a trilogy. It, it, has, it does I'm, enough I'm, with it. I'm not gonna... I won't lie. I rewatched Lord of the Rings recently. And as good as it is, I still think Over the Ring, Lord of the Rings is a pretty overrated trilogy. I agree. After watching... And honestly, this is my counter-argument. And it's a strange thing of thinking... Lord of the Rings feels overrated to me, and Pirates feels very underrated to me. I feel like, like Pirates got probably overplayed, like overhyped by too many people for too long to where it became yeah. lame. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Overexposure was a big deal with yeah. this, because it felt like every year we were getting a movie, and if we, like... even and it was we everywhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, but yeah. because of that, I feel like yeah, it, right. it's... It's almost like a Nickelback kind of situation where like everybody right. wants to hate on it, right? But, when, but in reality, but when you, you listen watch to that, like, you're like, actually, really? that's a good movie. Yeah, you know, this is actually impa- Mason. We made a Nickelback reference positively. Uh, <laughs> I heard it. I don't know if I agree. Where, where actually, are you at? You whoa! Whoa! Actually, they got a couple of good songs. Bow! Uh, <laughs> trash. Oh no! Get yeah, the keep going. Get the fuck oh. Oh. <laughs> Mason, That's you, when he's excited, he spins his yeah. like Mason, you oh. wouldn't go out of your way to say that Pirates of the Caribbean is the Nickelback of the fantasy trilogies? Uh, I don't... I mean, I... I don't know, man. Like, that's... <laughs> oh! Whoa, uh, bounce off the ceiling. Yeah. I will... We haven't mentioned it yet, but uh, as a... Like, the score... I don't remember anything being too outstanding about the score of this, but it has, like, one of the best, like, most memorable... Well, yeah, it's got, like, Jurassic Park yeah, theme yeah. song. Yeah, yeah, this, yeah, I was about to say, don't... The score... No, that's what I'm saying, song. like, that's the only one, like, I really remember. Like, nothing right. else really stands yeah, out. Like, yeah, like, they, they have reprisals of it that yeah, play right. throughout, but, yeah, it's really about that main Yeah, score. compared to, like, something like a Ghibli movie, like Mononoke, where, like, nothing particularly, like, stands out, but it's, like, all so Everything is good. effectively good, whereas... This one's, like, just, like, the main right. song is awesome, but everything else is, like, not too memorable. should have been way better than Bogey, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I'm, I'm with you, like... I mean, how can you not... Am I really last? How? <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, you really can't, like... You, you want to, like... You want to meme on Pirates of the Caribbean, but, like... Yeah. Yo, sometimes that score come in and you're like... Da, 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 da. <laughs> like, you're ready to sit there and be like, Ah, oh, yeah, let's go! Let's fucking go. Uh, if Annabeth was an earshot, she'd just be like, Yeah! 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 <laughs> She's there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I... Uh, all right, uh, Annabeth, yes. you uh, you want to pop in for the scores? Yes. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do we need to make room on the couch? Maybe. The big yeah. couch. Come over here on the couch. Oh! I just there, you, there, there you go, pirate woman. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Annabeth's been waiting all scene the entire time. Yeah. To show her and a pirate hat. Um, so how hard are we hitting this? Three all, all the way. All the way. All the way. All the way. 
Ooh, big move. Uh oh. <laughs> hey, that's exactly you where told I me went. Raw. That's, that's, three quarters. Hey, that's where I went. <laughs> but anyway, um, oh, let's play four. So, uh, score? Annabeth, I know we've been kind of ranting on it for a little bit, but let's let's let you lead the score. Let's let you lead the score. We're right. Uh, we haven't done ten. Anything. No Woo! way. Yeah. Really? Actually. Um, the brother's <laughs> no, 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 the ten. No, no, no. Okay, now I'm I giving it a that. nine oh, because okay. the first one in the series is a ten, and this uh, one's just like a tiny bit hmm. not as amazing as the first one, but almost. Okay. Yeah. It's like really nine, close. Yeah. So I'll give it a nine and a half. Okay. Oh, that was yeah. still a lot of high praise. Yeah, yeah, you've done I three different scores. Very quick, bold. Nine, nine, nine and a half. Nine and a half feels about right. Nine and a half. Nine and a half. All right, so pump yeah. this right about here. Three quarters. Uh, yep. Boom. There you are. Uh, oh no! Oh. Is that a <laughs> Where even am I? Like, yeah. You're on a pirate ship. You're in the oh my god! All right, Dylan, it's, it's gonna be a while for your turn. So you want to go on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I give this movie a very solid eight. Uh, I want I want inch of eight point five, but uh, for anybody who knows my eight point five, my eight point fives are like almost the top of the layer for like me, and you have to really be something special to cross over to that. The thing that holds this movie back for me, this movie is great in almost every single way. The score is great, performances are awesome, all of that's excellent, but there's some parts in the movie that drag, and you know I mentioned it earlier, the parts where they're on. Uh, the Cannibal Island goes on for too long. Some of the scenes oh, where shit. they're Ooh, doing the the chest hunt and all of that oh, stuff, boy. those drag for a little bit too yeah. long. And they drag for long enough to really drag the score down. But boy. all things considered, <laughs> the lore is sweet. Davy Jones slaps. <laughs> Beckett's great. This movie, you keep talking about Beckett all the time. He has maybe ten minutes Who's of time. But he's, he's the yeah, main dude for East India Trading Company with the treaties oh, yeah. and stuff like that. So, for me, again, like, he's great in this movie because I just had directly said, like, for the little time he has, he's incredibly impactful. And he is the linchpin for making everybody go where they go, more or less. Other than you Jack. You just, you just played Dylan. Wow. Oh, did I? Hey, yeah, so you, you did good for Dylan. Hey, uh, you I got you. There you go. I did good, though! <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> I did good! Hey, I did my best. So. You okay, did well, not! I, I think, Price, are you, uh. I'm gonna give it an eight. An eight. Okay. I'll go next because Dylan just screwed my turn over. <laughs> How did Dylan screw your turn over? You, you took my turn. Yeah. And I got you in a great spot. Yeah, he did well for you. <laughs> oh, don't touch that thing. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, anyway, I can gotcha. I'll, Damn it. I'll go next. The movie is very long. Uh, you definitely feel the runtime. There's nothing too memorable about it. I thought the production was really good. And Davy Jones was by far my favorite part of the movie. Oh, uh, but. Oh. My, a big thing when it gets into those upper scores for me is the rewatchability for it, and man, I do not want to watch this anytime soon. Yeah, it's just go so first. long. So I, I'm going to go with a five and a half on it because I did enjoy my time with it. Why are you giving me that look? Five and a half. Five is like average, and like five and a half is like above it. I, I enjoyed it, but like I won't be watching it anytime soon. If somebody said like, hey, do you like Pirates too? I'd be like, yeah, I liked it pretty good. And that's the end of it. And if they asked you, what'd you give it? Like five and a half out of ten? Yeah, that's like an F. No, it's not. This is not a. This is not a GPA scale. This is a number where scores between zero and ten are all valid. Five is the average. Like five is like an eight, I guess, for you GPA people. No, I don't care. God dang it! But anyway, oh, hell yeah, 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 you did good. Mason, I hit the ceiling. Yeah, you good. Your turn now. You're uh, I'm actually gonna kind of piggyback off of the price. This movie is great. I think the production is great as long as you don't get tired of Jack Sparrow Ooh. and what's oh. his name? Just a little more beans and Kira Knightley, which was just a delight to watch. She's always a delight. Yeah, but like when she's playing the guy, like yeah, she's the got ship. the dress and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> There's no good way. To I think that I think that this movie is great for the people who like to follow it. There you go. Yeah. Uh, but I'm gonna give it a six and a half. It's just it's one yeah, of those. I it, I don't want to watch the first one again. I, I care not to watch the third one. <laughs> I, I heard the fifth one yeah. I, I just can't imagine not wanting to watch it's, it. No! <laughs> it's, just, it's one of those Disney movies that I cannot really keep going with. How did you feel about 101 Dalmatians, though? I never watched it. Wow, Mason. <laughs> mm. Wow. And also the tonal what, shift. What, a Disney animated movie that I haven't seen? <laughs> I know, oh, put it on the yeah. list. I mean, you could have been mentioning the live action instead, though. Cruella? Yeah. 
Well, I mean, no. no. Well, no, that live action. I didn't know they had live action. Yeah. I also didn't also didn't say, but the tonal shift definitely takes a big hit on my score too. So that's why I gave it that kind of a score. Mm. As I was talking about earlier, I don't like how it flip flops repeatedly. If it just did it once and then stuck with it, Mm -hmm. I'd be more of a fan. But it keeps doing it over and over. Nathan, touch me, Kraken. My time to give my score. Your time to shine. Rise from the depths. What is your score? (laughs) Um, I like it. I uh, I gotta say, not uh, not really. No, I wasn't really expecting off the it start is. of this. Oh. Oh, 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 too much beans. Yeah, barely too many beans. Yeah, so close. Um, I wasn't expecting this movie to be as good as I found it. Um, maybe I was just in the mood for a very adventurous kind of romp. <laughs> and yeah. I like how long the movie is. Mm-hmm. Of course you do. Yeah. I, I, I of enjoy course you do. I would have gladly watched more. I might just go ahead and watch the third one again because it's been a minute. Yeah. Um, no. So please. I, and I, I, like, <laughs> I, I feel like I shouldn't give it a nine, but I'm gonna give it. A Whoa! Nine. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I, it's your score. <laughs> you do you, girl. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I dig it. That's that's a hefty score. I mean, it, it was a good trip. Would Jill have given it, it was fun. Or she would have no. no? Jill's not that cool. She's a Scrooge. <laughs> She's a Scrooge. Yeah. She's joined my club. No, she'd give it like a... Seven and a half. Oh, yeah. A six there. or a seven, yeah. probably. Yeah. Oh, it's, 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 All right. Oh, okay. it's, Let's get that wheel. Oh, okay. Bring it on over. If you don't go in, I swear to God. Annabeth? Oh, you yeah. want to do it? Okay. All right, I'll, I'll hold okay. it for you. Uh, Technically, you're supposed to spin it from the left, but yeah. Oh. I'm yeah, because the, the pegs it. unspin them. So oh, I think you can oh, do here it. Here we go. I'm holding it. Okay, we good spin. <laughs> there you go. What we got? Big fish. Uh, uh, we, somebody uh, called that too, didn't they? Yeah, they did. Oh. Bad education? No. no. What is it? Dead snow. Oh, baby! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! We'll see so we can finally erase that badly written dead snow. <laughs> A kindergartner wrote that. He's sitting to my left. I've been waiting for that in Kingsman uh, big time. So I am very happy to talk about dead snow. I mentioned it when we started I, I, this podcast. Okay, who all has seen dead snow already? Uh, Oh, well. Annabeth, okay. okay. <laughs> hey, you haven't. I have not. Well, All right, Annabeth, you watch it, and then you do the review next week for Dead Snow, because we've already seen it. <laughs> and act as each of us yeah. the whole each time? Yeah. 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 Honestly, I'd prefer that over the whole oh, episode yeah. we would do. If she just would randomly be, shut up, you! <laughs> she does, like, the Bronson half and half face, where she has to have, like... Oh, like, yeah, the, the, like, very... Yeah. Like, like the, the woman with face. Very painted woman. The, yeah. <laughs> I dig it. Oh, man. So, anyway. You need full beam if you do it. Oh, gosh. Oh. <laughs> I, uh, I guess tune in next week to Dead, S- Dead, Dead Snow. Dead Snow. Hey, don't, don't, don't be such a downer about it. Yeah, you're you may like it. I don't. I've watched it already. For How long has it been? Mm, I don't know. COVID has been a weird time. Years have been, like, multiple years so now. A so, a long time. It's been <laughs> probably a minute. <laughs> um, Thoughts may have changed. When was I in college? How long has that been? <laughs> Okay, it's been a long time then. No. Oh, bad. baby! Oh. Oh. <laughs> anyway, I, I, red I, I, zone I right it, there. I tipped the back just a little too much. Anyway, oh, um, you can catch us all on this channel. Annabeth, is there anything you want to plug? Something? Yeah, you want to plug anything? Yeah. Yeah, do you have anything no. to plug? Yeah, how's your channel going? Yeah, um, yeah, we haven't posted anything in a while. <laughs> yeah? But, you know, go, go listen to our podcast. What? There already, no new episodes. They talk about Disney movies, like yeah, this. Disney. Like this. Yeah. yeah, we like Disney movies. <laughs> this is an appropriate plug. Based on it. the nine and a half that you just got. Right. <laughs> what's what's yes. um, what's the channel in about? Disney do overs. Ah. Also, what else is going oh, on your? Uh, what are you replacing it with? On your oh, channel? I haven't thought that far yet. Oh, I, have okay. to, I have to go with Mason's stupid category. Uh, yeah. rules, so don't know yet. Anyway, guys, that's our show. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you liked everything, and if you're diving down into the depths for further contents and treasure, make sure to hit the bell on the way down. Yeah! She did it. Uh, make sure to load up all those comments with a bunch of treasure. R, and uh, make sure to tune in next week for Dead Snow, I guess. Bye, guys. Bye! Bye! The hell of a shot. I know it. And you with just, my ball. And she just <laughs> a rip. Okay, hold on. This is my actual turn. Get away from me. Get away.